Hi guys and welcome to this new video for this new chapter and it's on response and explanatory variables part of the core data module of further maths and it's really good to see you here. Now we're going to be dealing with response and explanatory variables in just one moment. There's nothing to recap so I've got a small amount of time just to say to you if you haven't already can you do me a favor uh, it's great to know that people out there are watching um, so and the way that that happens is by subscribing to my YouTube channel. You get notifications when new videos are loaded and there are huge numbers of videos which load across this channel every single week. So hopefully you'll uh, find them useful. Uh, let your mates know, that'd be greatly appreciated. These videos are also on MathsGuru.com. If you're not already on there, head over there. It is uh, free to sign up and all the videos are sortable, searchable, and there are downloadable lesson notes as well. Now, as I say, by the end of this particular lesson, it'd be useful to know what the explanatory variable is, the response variable is, and know how to identify which is which. And the easiest way to do it is to know which you are going to predict from which. More on that in just a moment. So the first question is, can we find out whether things are related? Hopefully, many things are in fact related. And one of the examples I've got here is if I get in my car and I go for a journey, maybe I will drive to the supermarket. Well, hopefully, we will know that there is a relationship between time and distance. And it is no trick or it is no um, coincidence why we have time on the bottom here and distance here because along the vertical axis, all right, I'm going to give you the hint and repeat it over and over again, this vertical axis is the one that we can predict, all right? So the vertical axis is predict. So if I have a time, can I predict the distance? Or more importantly, is distance related to time? Now, a lot of people are like, uh, huh, huh, uh, so what I'm saying is, as time increases, if I'm going on the journey, would I expect my distance to change? Yes, hopefully I'm in my car and it's going to go. Now ask yourself the question along the way. As my distance changes, does my time? So does that mean that time has stopped until I get in my car and I start driving my car and suddenly it's like, oh, okay, time now starts because Mr. Smith or Darren or Mass Guru is currently driving his car. It makes absolutely no sense, yeah? So this is sort of the questions that I ask myself whenever I'm doing these uh, particular graphs or trying to work out which one is uh, my horizontal axis and which one is my vertical axis. And they have names that I'll come to in just a second. What about the relationship between age and height? Now this one could be a little bit more tricky. Age is time, all right? Generally speaking, we get older chronologically and hopefully as that goes on, we get higher. So can we predict our height given our age. If I said to you um, something on the lines of how high were you when you were 12, then hopefully we would work out that there would be some relationship that as the age was getting bigger, as our age was getting bigger, then our height was also getting bigger. There's a relationship, but we can actually predict our height from our age. Most people get higher with age, but the question is, can I predict my age from my height? Now again, just thinking about that makes no sense whatsoever, okay? My mum is smaller than I am, yes? So am I genuinely be able to turn around and go, oh, uh, okay, so she's, let's say, 35 to be polite. She's not, okay? So she's going to be a particular, because all 35-year-olds are a particular height? Probably not. Again, that doesn't make any sense to me when I say it out loud. The way to be able to describe these is normally, uh, for all the graphs you guys have ever been given, you have the X here and the Y there. Y to the yellow sun and X just because it is. And the great thing is, further mass has two names. They are called explanatory and response. Do you hear what I said there? Explanatory, explanatory. Well, the explanatory is always the one that goes on the X axis. The response? is the other one, all right? And in an exam, in the VCAR exam, I have seen questions ask you which is a response variable and which is an explanatory variable. Sadly, I couldn't find any of those questions at this moment in time. So believe it or not, this lesson is very, very soon to be over. But there are a couple of questions uh, taken with mission from the Cambridge Further Maths Unit 3 and 4 textbooks. Thank you very much, Cambridge, for allowing me to use them. And it says, we wish to investigate, does the time it takes a student to get to school depend on their mode of transport, all right? Now, the word here, depend, could also be used as predict, all right? Can we predict the time it takes to school 
on depending on their mode of transport. So the variables they're given us, right? So they're given us two variables, which are time and mode of transport. Which one is the response and which one is the explanatory? Now, in this particular instance, we need to predict the time it takes from the mode. So for example, if I'm going to school, is it gonna be quicker to go by car, to go by walking, to go by bus, to go by aeroplane, okay? I'm giving you the mode. I said to you car, and you would have gone, that's quicker than if I walked. And so in this situation, we are predicting our time from our mode of transport. And the predicting, the one that we predict, or can use to predict, always is the response variable. The other one is the explanatory variable. Now, if we try and flip it around the other way, and if we try to have time and mode, if I gave you a time, could I predict the mode of transport? Probably not, all right? And again, these are all down to interpretation and scenarios and exam questions, and people have argued with me left, right, and center about all of these. At the end of the day, the questions you have, it will be fairly obvious which one is the explanatory on the x-axis and which one is the response variable. And likewise, can we predict uh, people's height from their wrist measurements? Now, the great thing is, the minute they've said the predict word, I know that I'm gonna have height here and I'm gonna have wrist there. The variables in investigation are height and wrist, which is the response variable and which is the explanatory, well, in which case the explanatory variable in this situation would be wrist, and the response variable would be my height, taken from that. And basically, that's almost the end of this video. Response and explanatory variables. When investigating the association between variables, the explanatory variable is the variable we expect to explain or predict the value of the response variable. That's way confusing as far as I'm concerned. You know, you used 5,000 words there where a diagram could have done, and so we do the predict on the y-axis. Now again, I couldn't really find much uh, in terms of VCAR questions for this. Um, so all I wanted to turn around and say was where in this particular question was it important? Well, basically they told you the variable year was the explanatory variable. Now, basically videos are coming up or later in the course uh, dealing with regression analysis and the explanatory variable there is gonna be really, really important for when you actually do a regression analysis or come up with least squares regression lines. But that's way, way, way ahead in the future if you're watching these videos in order. Okay, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this brief introduction has been useful to you. If you haven't already done so, can you subscribe to my channel? Uh, let your friends know. Um, click the notification button and you will be told when new videos load, which they will do throughout the course of this course. All right, it's been good. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.